Ruben, an entertaining one-all draw in the Thames Valley derby. How do you reflect on that 90? Well, I think it was a competitive team and then against two teams uh, that want to win the game. Uh, I think it was an equal game from the beginning to the end. We have a good opponent in front of us. It was the environment uh, at the stadium was really, really good. The fans were supporting us from the very beginning. We want to bring the victory and give the victory to them, but we didn't. But I think we play hard, we show character and I'm very proud of the fall that the boys put on the pitch. Uh, some changes tonight, a trio of academy graduates come in. Did you want some of that local passion on the pitch at the start? I think we have uh, we have seven players uh, in total that are, were academy graduates and uh, plus Kelvin was in the bench. So half of the squad was uh, academy graduates and then of course uh, it's not the only factor but uh, I know they have that uh, feeling and the passion for the club and I think that helps us today and a really positive start. Did you feel we were unlucky not to be ahead? Uh, yeah, I just think that uh, in the way that we are growing and competing, we need to be able to put uh, to score more goals from those situations and to be more ruthless in our finishing. Because we have proved that after those moments, if we don't score, we will consider or we will need to defend for periods. So as much as we can, we should be able to take those moments, score the goal, put us in, uh, in front and then try to be robust and uh, focus in our idea and try to be competitive. And then, unfortunately, we fell behind, but it was a perfect response, a really cool, calm finish from Sam Smith to get us level. Yes, and I think we, we have a very, a very powerful attack. Uh, we are scoring goals every, every game, and uh, even with the one down, the team uh, never lose their head or never break the game. We just, we, we just did constant what we did. It was a fantastic ball from Luis Wing and a super deep run with an extraordinary finishing from Sam. We can do it, so you just need to do it more often and uh, start to defend a little bit better those crosses that are costing us goals. And Oxford changed it up at half-time and we had to be a little bit more resolute in the second half. What was that like to deal with? <laughs> well, it's always difficult because the opponent also wants to win the game and you want to adapt. Sometimes when you adjust, uh, you get advantage, sometimes not. Uh, and uh, we thought that we can continue doing, we just change a little bit in the pressure. We have a little bit less of the ball in the second half. But that's the game and uh, inside the game you play uh, multiple games and uh, yeah, that's part of it. In previous games we have been a side that's conceded late goals, but today the boys really dug in and proved to themselves and obviously to you as well that they can do it against the top teams in this league. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I say that three, four weeks ago we will lose this game. But uh, we show that we can compete, we have the, can have the character, we can defend those corner kicks, free kicks or long ball situations as we did today, don't give them any chance and uh, we need to continue. We know, we know it's a learning process, we know we are still on it, but we know that we can compete against anybody in this league. And you touched on it earlier, but the fans really were outstanding tonight, weren't they? Absolutely, absolutely. I hope they enjoyed the game. We want to give them the three points. Fortunately, we didn't get it, but I think it was out. A spectacular football environment. I hope uh, they enjoy and they they see the passion that the boys put today on the game. And uh, just thank you for the thought. And they'll be making the long trip up to Lincoln with us. How do you look ahead to that challenge? Well, uh, again, um, it's a lot of games in this league, so we will try to rest tomorrow and then manage the load after tomorrow, and then we'll be ready for that. Again, we are going to go into the, the game trying to get the three points. Uh, away from home, the support from our fans has been unbelievable. I expect them to do exactly the same as they have been doing the entire season. And then I just tell them that we will be ready for the challenge. And there's a lot of games coming up over the festive period, especially around Christmas. It's really important that everyone across the, across the squad is ready to step up and perform like they did tonight. Absolutely. Now it's going to be a lot of games and it's going to come uh, for different reasons. People is going to be in and out. Everyone uh, needs to be ready and uh, needs to be focused on the task.